Well, hello, friends. Welcome. And I'm really excited for tonight's team continuing education on a 30 day detox for home and body. So, whether you're brand new to doTERRA or you're seasoned, I promise you're going to learn something. And tonight, we're going to learn a little bit about how toxins enter our body, where they come from, why it's important to get them out of our body, and how to do that with doTERRA. And this is something that I'm really, really passionate about because when I started with doTERRA in 2011, Four years prior to that, I had been going to different doctors for different health concerns and nobody could figure out what was going wrong. And I had chronic fatigue and I mean chronic, like I could not get through a day of work without taking a nap in my car or in the break room. I had about seven different foods that I couldn't eat without making me sick. So I had to bring my foods with me when I traveled into the restaurants call ahead to make sure there was something on the menu I could eat. I had a uh, very intense mood swing. So bless my husband for staying with me. My hair was falling out and I had cystic acne that was so bad when I would smile or laugh, it would burst open. So cystic acne is not only disfiguring to the face, it is painful and it sucks. So for four years, I hopped around to different healthcare professionals trying to figure out what they could do. And I was in a traditional Western medicine trained. So I was working in healthcare too. And the traditional approach for me at that time as a mid 20 year old was here's a medication for your symptom. And if there's another symptom that arises from that medication, here's the next one. And I was already being set up on that path in my early twenties. And about a week before I was scheduled to start Accutane, which is a medication that is designed to get rid of really severe acne. It is also very bad for the liver. You can't donate blood for the rest of your life after taking it because that's how much it builds up in your system. And it had some other very nasty side effects. And I was meeting with my esthetician that I was going to, and she said, hey, that stuff is not only going to destroy your skin, it's gonna destroy your body. And she asked if I was open to seeing somebody that had a natural approach to wellness. And to me, that was just bizarre, but I was willing to say yes to anything, right? Yes, I'm open to whatever. And through her, I was introduced to two holistic healthcare doctors, Dr. Ben and Dr. Melissa. And Dr. Ben and Dr. Melissa taught me what I was putting in my body, whether it was food or on my body, my skincare or around me, my cleaning products, how they were actually contributing to my health and that I could actually help my body heal itself by eliminating some of those toxins and changing my diet. So tonight I'm gonna to share with you how you can also eliminate some of those toxins in your house and how you can support those detox channels to keep you well as long as possible. So I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen. I'm gonna pull up a slideshow for us to follow along with, give you some visuals. And if you have any questions tonight at all, um, you can drop them in the chat. And if you know the answer, just answer in the chat box to help other people. And uh, at the end, I will open it up for questions and answer all your questions personally. So do keep tabs on your questions. So tonight we're gonna really focus on this wellness pyramid with doTERRA, which is one of the things I absolutely love is it's a holistic approach to wellness. And when I was that practitioner in the clinic, I was really frustrated that we had an approach that addressed the symptom instead of address the whole person. And it, I knew that if I could help these people in the beginning address the root cause that they wouldn't have even become patients in our clinic. So we're gonna focus on how that works with toxic load and why that's important tonight. So Dr. Ben and Dr. Melissa, they introduced me to this concept of a toxic bucket and that our body is this bucket that is designed to filter toxins out of our body on a daily basis. Our liver does it, our body is designed to do it. But what happens is if we're under stress, we're not eating properly, and we're exposed to an excessive amount of toxins in our daily life, then this bucket becomes too full for us to deal with it. And as a result, dis-ease happens in the body. And Dr. Ben and Dr. Melissa said that I was on the path to being diagnosed with an autoimmune disease if I did not change my diet, my lifestyle, and the products I was using within the next year. And one of the things that Dr. Ben had me do is he had me bring in a basket full of all the things that I was using on my skincare, cleaning my house with, using on my hair, and he taught me how to read labels because our toxic load comes from 
pathogens, chemicals, and radiation. So he was teaching me how the chemicals I was putting on my body were actually making me sick. And this is really interesting. This is an article that you can find in the Huffington Post that the average woman puts 515 synthetic chemicals on her body every day without knowing it. So I was overloading my body with toxins. My bucket was overflowing, which is why it was coming out of my skin. And this is really interesting of the tens of thousands of chemicals that are being used in cosmetics, they're hardly regulated. So in Europe, they have banned about 1300 of those toxins, but the FDA has only banned eight. And these are untested synthetics that we are using. And oftentimes you don't know there's a problem until years and years or even sometimes decades later when it's accumulated enough where then they have a lawsuit that comes back. So for instance, with Johnson and Johnson had a lawsuit that came back and they owed lots of millions of dollars to a woman that developed ovarian cancer from baby powder. And it took decades for that to accumulate to where they could prove that that was actually leading to ovarian cancer. And something else interesting, 60% of what we put onto our hands is absorbed into our body. So whether that's our lotion, our hand sanitizer, our deodorant, our cleaning supplies, it's being absorbed into our body. So it's really important to be mindful of what we are using. This is something also really interesting is that there's toxicity in our womb that starts at birth, which is just mind blowing to me, the study that they did. And then environmental working group found that the umbilical cord blood of babies was already full of toxins. So 230 industrial pollutants is what they found on average in the cord blood. And this includes lead, mercury, BCPs, and these are things that later in life can lead to hormonal imbalance. It can lead to autoimmune disease. It can lead to um, a decreased immune system and another, uh, a number of other things. And a final note on this is it leads to even, even bigger diseases within the body. So this is a study found by the National Institute of Health. And what the National Institute of Health found with cancer is that only about five to 10% of cancer cases are attributed to genetic defects. The remaining 90 to 95% are rooted in environmental and lifestyle. So to me, when I hear that it's empowering because it means that there are things that I can do that were within my sphere of influence that I can do to contribute on a daily basis to staying well as long as possible because our health is one of those most valuable assets that often goes unappreciated until it's gone. So one of the reasons I'm so passionate about doTERRA is really helping people live well now instead of looking for solutions later on after there's already something they're working on. So we can absolutely work on things, but my passion is really teaching wellness to people. And a final note, if you wanna learn more about this, this is a documentary that you can find online. It's called The Human Experiment. And this documentary dives deeper into the thousands and thousands of untested chemicals that we are using on a daily basis and how they are being linked to health conditions within people. This used to be streaming on Amazon, it no longer is. So you might have to do a little digging to find it, but The Human Experiment is a documentary that I do highly recommend if you wanna learn more about this. So now we're gonna shift focus and we're gonna talk a little bit about what we can do in our homes and with our bodies to keep us on top notch health. So we're exposed to these toxins through our lungs, the air we breathe, our GI tract, what we eat and through our skin. So those are our three exposure pathways. And we're gonna focus on first, how to decrease toxic exposure. So what are some simple swaps we can do in our home to decrease that toxic load on our body and not overflow that bucket? So one of the first things you can do is to wash your produce with lemon oil. So all the produce I bring in, I just fill up my sink. I put a couple drops of lemon oil in. It will help to clean off any residual um, pesticides or anything you don't want to eat. And this is really cool. It'll make your produce last longer, especially berries, because it kills those little mold spurs and will help the berries uh, take longer to mold, which is really awesome. Another thing that you can do if your budget doesn't allow you to purchase fully organic produce,
go on the environmental working groups website and search for their dirty dozen list. And these are the 12 produce items that are used with the most pesticides. So if you wanna decrease pesticides, um, you would wanna shop from the sturdy dozen list and shop those organic if possible. Another thing that you can do, this is really interesting, is um, some facts about air fresheners and scented candles that I just saw before hopping on this planet in my inbox. This is from medicalmedium.com. And this shares about the dangers of our Febreze, our scented laundry detergent, our candles, um, Glade plugins. I used to have a Glade plugin in every room and definitely Febreze going all the time. But those chemicals, they are actually damaging our liver, our lungs. They damage our immune system. So it can weaken our immune system for three to four days by prolonged exposure. And if you're one of the people who maybe currently or in the past before doTERRA had a lot of those Febreze items or Glade plugins or the candles with synthetic fragrances, think about prolonged exposure decreasing your immune system for three to four days. You may have been in a state of decreased immunity because of your environment. So something to think about. The environmental, or no, the EPA has also found that the air inside of our homes has been found to be five times more polluted than the air outside of our homes. And this goes back to those air fresheners, the laundry, uh, the cleaning supplies and things of that nature. So this is within your sphere of influence. You can start to swap out some of your previously toxic um, products that you have. I know many of you have done this. This is a great use of your LRP points. I'm almost exclusively using my LRP points to purchase the laundry detergent, the cleaning supplies, hair care, skin care, toothpaste, things of that nature. So almost all of my non-toxic things I swap out are with my LRP points. One thing that's not pictured here is deodorant, and that is one I would put on your high priority list of things to swap out. Because if you think about how delicate that underarm area is, it has a lot of pores, it's next to a lot of lymph nodes, it's next to the breast. You absolutely do not wanna be putting an antiperspirant with aluminum near that area. So check out doTERRA's, there's a few options and find one that works for you. Um, so high priority is to swap out deodorants. So next we're gonna move into how we can support defensive functions. So basically how can we support our body when it is exposed to a toxin because we're gonna be exposed, right? So we're not gonna live our life in fear, but how can we have our body prepared when it is exposed? So one of the things we can do that is through nutrition. And this is very interesting to me that the nutrition in our food is declining. So the US Department of Agriculture has found that our fruits and vegetables are less nutritious today than they were for our grandparents. They're about 38% less nutritious today than for our own grandparents. And this study was conducted in 1999. So I want you to think about 20 years later, do you think it's probably less nutritious than that 38%? It's probably having even a more significant decline. So one of the things that you can do is you can fortify and support a nutritional foundation through supplements. So supplements that help with increased energy, liver function, decreasing free radicals, and supporting a healthy inflammatory response. So I know many of you are already using doTERRA's Lifelong Vitality. This is doTERRA's number one selling product for a reason. It's because it works, it's awesome. There is a 30 day empty bottle money back guarantee. And if you've been taking Lifelong Vitality for a while and you're wondering if it's working, Stop taking it for a week and let me know what happens. You'll notice a difference. So it has a lot of supportive functions. It has a lot of antioxidant DNA protection. It helps with the mitochondria of your cells. It helps with immune function, bone health, stress management, cardiovascular health, hair, skin, and nails, and so much more. So this is one thing that I highly recommend to almost everyone that comes in doTERRA is Get your lifelong vitality. Let's get your nutritional foundation to help optimize your wellness. And this is something really cool about lifelong vitality. So if we look at how much nutrients are packed in this, it's incredible. So if we compare the nutrient list to a 30 day food supply, if you even look at vitamin D3, you would have to eat a thousand eggs 
to equal the amount of D3 um, that's in a one month supply of lifelong vitality. And D3 is one of the most important nutrients for a healthy immune system. And if you look further down at the grocery bill savings, so if we're eating you know, as nutritious as we can, we learned our produce is less nutritious than it used to be. And then we look at the grocery bill savings of what is in lifelong vitality. So a month's supply of lifelong vitality is $79.50. $900 would be the cost of the equivalent nutrients found in food. And so, you know, I love broccoli. I see on that list 60 cups of broccoli. There's not enough butter to help me eat 60 cups of broccoli in a month. So I really appreciate lifelong vitality helping me with that. There's also the doTERRA nutrition line. I know a lot of us in February, were really excited to incorporate healthy habits. So if you're feeling your nutrition could use some more protein and that's one of the main building blocks, you know, there's 21 grams of protein per serving in either the vegan base. So if you're a plant person or if you're an omnivore, they have a whey version and those are both really good. There's also the greens, which I think is actually my favorite new product from the nutrition lines, which is another extra serving of fruits and vegetables. It has superfoods. And the way I like to take my greens is a cup of water with a few drops of lemon oil and mix it up. And it tastes like a green lemonade. It's awesome. And then finally the fiber you can supplement with, it tastes kind of like a diluted apple juice. And I have found myself taking it in the evenings, kind of between dinner and nighttime to help my body feel full and to get all the benefits of fiber, help me to move things through my GI tract. So the rest of our time, we're gonna focus in on how we can support our elimination functions. So what are the elimination functions in our body and how can we really support them to function optimally? And the way we do this is through the doTERRA 30 day cleanse and renew. So I'm gonna break down how to use each of these products. This is one of the wellness kits with doTERRA how you can use the lifelong vitality we already talked about. And then each of these other products, I'm gonna break down exactly what's in it, how to use it and why you would wanna use it. And you're going to use some of these for certain parts of the month. Most of these will not be used every single day, but you don't have to worry about writing down when to use them because at the end, I have a checklist for you that will show you exactly which days that you take which of these supplements. So first, <clears throat> we're gonna talk about the elimination pathways. And we have a primary chimney and we have a secondary chimney. And our primary chimneys are the intestinals or the intestinal tract and the urinary system. Our secondary chimneys are our respiratory system and our skin. So if our primary chimneys are not working properly, they're gonna come out through the secondary. So we wanna make sure we can keep all of these open. So. The primary chimney of the intestinal tract and urine. So this is how we excrete things through bowel movements, through uh, urea, through the urine and proper liver function. Now, if these are not open or not functioning properly, what's going to happen is they're gonna come out through the secondary channels. So through the respiratory system. So that's when you have some respiratory discomfort and maybe excessive coughing or through your skin. Like in my example, when I was having cystic acne, my body was processing my leaky gut through my face. Um, another example would be rashes, hives, eczema, things of that nature. That is a, a gut concern. So we're gonna talk about two products that support proper elimination and how to use these. So Zendocrine and Terrazyme, we're gonna break these down. So first, we're gonna talk about how Terrazyme works in our GI tract. So we have our intestines and the large and small intestine, part of their job is to absorb nutrients as they move through our GI tract. And if our GI tract is clogged with undigested food, toxins, other things, our, our GI tract cannot absorb nutrients. So let's check out what's inside of our intestines. There is something called villi and there are these little finger-like projections that are in the small and large intestines. And then on that villi, we have epithelial cells. Those are skin cells, which are gonna be part of absorbing the nutrients as they pass through. And then villi, which is like little tiny hair on the, um, on the, the microvilli on the villi so that it can increase the surface area. So if you were to lay this all out, the surface area is equivalent to that of a tennis court. 
But if it is full of undigested food or backed up with things that cannot be excreted properly, you're not digesting properly or getting those nutrients. So Terrazyme is going to make your gut be in love. The way it works is it goes through and it helps to digest food and build up. So when you take your Terrazyme with food, it's marketed as a digestive enzyme. It's going to break down that food, make it easier to absorb through the body, and it's going to clean out all that villi, the little microvilli, the epithelial cells that are absorbing those nutrients and allow the food to pass, pass through so your body can utilize those nutrients. And in the cleanse, you take this um, with meals and then at night. This is one thing that I recommend taking even beyond the cleanse. So you would take your lifelong vitality and Terrazyme daily. And one of the ways I always take Terrazyme is one to two before bed because I want at night for it to go through my GI tract, get rid of anything that's backed up that shouldn't be there and then build up. So that's something that's not talked about often with digestive enzymes. When they're not digesting food, they're being stored later on to help build things up. So people come to me with an injury, a broken bone, after surgery, tissue repair, skin concerns, I always say, hey, up your Terrazyme because that's one of the building blocks that your body uses to repair. So they're either building up or breaking down. Next, we're gonna talk about how Zendocrine works in the body. And this is through the pathways of elimination through the liver. So when we're exposed to a toxin, whether it comes from food, chemical, radiation, however it comes in, the liver's job is to process it and then to eliminate it through either the kidney or the colon. So the liver does not have its own detox pathway. It must go through the kidney or the colon. So we have to support not only the liver, but the kidney and colon. So everything gets filtered out properly. And one of the ways we can do this is through the Zendocrine complex. So this is an herbal, uh, an herbal blend that's going to help support the liver, the kidney, colon, and lungs. And this is something that you would take for the full 30 day cleanse, because as we're processing and getting rid of this excess buildup, we wanna make sure that it has ways to get out of the body, right? We don't wanna just release it and have it be floating all over. So this is a really important thing to take during the cleanse. It's also one, if people come to me with um, skin eruptions, I say up your Terrazyme, get your Zendocrine going, and it will help to start to open up some of those chimneys. Even sometimes people that have a lingering cough, right? Because this supports not only uh, kidney, liver, and skin, and colon, it supports the lungs too. So this is one to try if there's something lingering in the lungs, um, but it's not the same as the Zendocrine oil blend, which we're gonna talk about in a moment. This is the Zendocrine complex, it's herbal. And then the Zendocrine oil is going to also support our king liver because without our liver, we can't get rid of those toxins. And the Zendocrine oil comes in these soft gels and it has tangerine for helping to gently cleanse the body, juniper berry for your kidneys, cilantro for heavy metal chelation, geranium and rosemary for the liver as well. So this is one that you take for a 10 day window during the cleanse to help really support the elimination functions of those kidneys and liver and endocrine systems. Next, we're gonna talk about what happens with toxins when they enter the bloodstream or the body and they don't have a way to eliminate. Did you know that when you have a toxin that can't get out through the kidneys or through a bowel movement, that your body will actually trap it in fat cells? And your body, that's your body's way of protecting itself. It actually encapsulates some of these toxins that it doesn't know how to process or how to get rid of. And it puts it in the fat cells to protect your body. And those are really difficult to get out. And one of the ways that you can detoxify the fat cells is through using GX Assist. And GX Assist is something that you would use for 10 days of the cleanse. It also works not only by releasing toxins from the fat cells, but also to help keep candida overgrowth at bay, which is an overgrowth of yeast that's fueled in our gut, usually by excessive sugar consumption. Sometimes even stress can lead to it. It's an imbalance. And the way this works is through the caprylic acid. And caprylic acid is 
like a fatty lipid based substance combined with the essential oils and that lipid based substance allows the fat cells to be penetrated and to allow the oils to go in and to actually release the toxins. It's really, really cool. So GX Assist, this is one I keep on hand um, definitely when I'm doing a cleanse, but sometimes if there is something my body cannot kick for whatever reason, and my on guard's not working, I do a round of GX assist for seven to 10 days. I do one to three capsules. Um, you know, just depending, start with one. And then if you need more, but seven to 10 days, and I can usually kick whatever it is. So on guard isn't touching it on guard plus do a seven to day, 10 day round of GX assist. Then we are going to refortify our gut flora and our GI tract. This is where about 70% of our immune system resides. So we wanna make sure that we're keeping our gut flora very healthy. We have, um, we have a stomach acid that is very acidic and it's very difficult to help populate healthy gut microflora. And what I'm talking about are healthy bacteria to supplement it. So one of the ways you can supplement it is through probiotics. And some of you may take um, doTERRA's probiotics, or you may even take kombucha, yogurt, um, some other ways to help supplement probiotics. And what's really difficult is for those probiotics to pass through the stomach acid and get to the lower and upper GI tract where they're very, very needed. And so I'm gonna share with you a little bit about the microflora and how we can populate the microflora. So the microflora is in our lower intestines. It's friendly bacteria to help with digestion. It helps to prevent the growth of harmful pathogens, and it helps to train the body for an immune response if you're exposed to a pathogen in your environment. Sometimes we can interfere with that gut flora through stress, toxins, which we've been talking about, diet, traveling, so perhaps being exposed to a pathogen you're just not used to, and antibiotics is huge. So if you've gone through a round of antibiotics, it kills all the good gut and bad gut flora. So that's why I like to use GX Assist followed by the PB Assist, which I'll share with you a little bit more in a moment. If you have compromised gut flora, the microflora, sometimes you'll feel digestive discomfort or have food sensitivities, um, sometimes chronic GI challenges, fatigue, and decreased immune system. So one of the things you can do to support microflora is using the PB assist and in the cleanse, this is designed to be used for 10 days. But if you're like me, um, I've had gut challenges in the past and I feel that I need it every day. So this is one of the things you can choose if you want to do it just for the 10 day window after the GX assist, or if you want to continue it long term or switch it up. But what's unique about doTERRA's PB assist is the way it's encapsulated. So it has a prebiotic and a probiotic. So the prebiotic is actually feeding that bacteria and it releases once it gets in the stomach and starts to go to the lower GI tract, which is really cool. That's one of the reasons you don't have to refrigerate doTERRA's probiotics. And it's one of the reasons they're so so effective in the lower GI tract. Cause like I mentioned, it's very difficult to get all those probiotics through the stomach acid. So time release capsule, if you've ever seen them, they're really cool, right? They have that little green place in the middle and then around it, it has the prebiotic fiber to help feed those probiotics. And then the final uh, supplement that you will take during your 30 day cleanse, this is called DDR prime. And this is an oil that is for cellular vitality. This was developed to help stop the replication of abnormal cells from replicating. So cells have a job and they go into the body and they reproduce. So skin cells reproduce, our liver cells reproduce, but sometimes the coding is off and you have a dysfunctional cell that continues to replicate over and over and over. And that can cause things we do not want in the body. And so what DDR prime does is it helps to stop the replication of unhealthy cells through a process called apoptosis. And apoptosis is just a fancy word for cellular death. So it stops the replication of those unhealthy cells. So for 10 days during the cleanse, this is something you can do 
there are people that I recommend to do this long-term every day. So if you have a history in your family of unhealthy cellular growth that continues to repeat, this is something I would highly recommend to keep daily on your regimen. It's safe to do that. It is a blend of frankincense, wild orange, lemongrass, thyme, summer savory, clove, and naoli. And there are a few other benefits. It helps support cellular immunity. So in uh, last year, this is one that some people were using regularly in place of DDR prime because it was so supportive to cellular immunity and especially lung health. Some of those oils are very supportive to the respiratory system. It's also uh, very effective at helping to combat free radicals in our environment, with, which is helping with anti-aging as well. And the final thing that you can do every single day, so whether you're doing the 30-day cleanse or you're just setting up a wellness routine, do not forget how effective a little bottle of lemon oil is. And you can use any of doTERRA's citrus oils in your water. All the citrus oils are safe for internal use, but just by adding a few drops to your water and drinking it. It helps to jumpstart your body's natural cleansing abilities. It helps to clean out the mucous membranes. So there is some misinformation that citrus oils can actually be harmful to mucous membranes if ingested. That is true with impure uh, uh, oils, but not doTERRA. So the ENT doctors who are researching doc doTERRA's benefits are showing that it's actually having a positive effect, clearing out those mucous membranes, allowing your body to digest what it's supposed to and function better. So, so simple to incorporate citrus in your water. So we're gonna break down um, what this 30 day cleanse looks like. If you feel like your body really needs a jump start, here's the checklist that I'm gonna have available for you. I'm going to link it in this video description after I upload this privately to YouTube. I'll have it linked so you can have it. And you're gonna see which ones you take to activate, to reset, or to renew your body. Now, there are three of these on this sheet that I would recommend taking ongoing, not just for the cleanse. And those three, this is what I recommend to myself and just about everyone who comes to doTERRA that wants to work on wellness, lifelong vitality, Terrazyme and lemon in your water every single day or a citrus oil. That is such a simple, basic foundation to wellness that you're going to see loads of benefits from. So ongoing lifelong vitality, terrazyme and lemon. And if any of these resonated and you feel like you would like to incorporate more. So for me, I do PB assist ongoing. That's the probiotic. I know I need that ongoing. Um, sometimes I'll do DDR prime for a month. I feel like I need that once in a while. And you can start to get used to these supplements to figure out what your body needs. The only ones I would not take ongoing, the GX assist, you definitely want to do that for 10 days and then take a break uh, because it's very effective at getting rid of all that gut microflora that we don't need, the negative ones, and then you need a break and give yourself some PB assist to regrow. And then personally, the Zendocrine oil. So the soft gel oil is one that I wouldn't take as long-term either. Um, I would take that more in spurts. So 10 days here, 10 days there, but all great on a daily routine after your cleanse juice. So if you want to cleanse inside and out, the cleanse and restore kit is something that you can purchase on your loyalty rewards program order. It has the lifelong vitality. It has all the supplements. It has the lemon. Some of you may already have some of these supplements and you don't need the full kit. So just add on the couple of supplements you may not already have. So you can kind of build your own. And the PV on this is I think 175. So if you're a rewards member, you know, you're getting 10 to 30% back. So I think if you're at the 30% level, that's already 52, $53 of free product. So then you can try maybe the new shampoo or try the hydrating cream or maybe get your laundry detergent. So you can start to get some of those things for free. So it makes it very affordable to bring wellness right to your home. So now you get to choose, we learned a lot tonight and you get to choose your path. So what's the direction from here? We talked about, do you need a total body cleanse? Do you need to cleanse your home? Do you wanna do both? Do you wanna do it all in 30 days? Do you wanna break it up over 90 days? You get to decide and here are some of the tips that I will have for you. Is first decide what the priority is. Is it your body? Is it your home? Or is it both? 
Next, if you are not already using a healthy foundation with doTERRA with some of the supplements, so if you're not already using lifelong vitality, terrazyme and lemon in your water daily, I would start there for at least a month before diving into the full cleanse, give your body a foundation and then continue that ongoing. Next, are you looking to incorporate nutritional healthy habits? So if you are, think about incorporating some of the nutrition line. So do you desire to have some extra protein in your diet, maybe some extra green? So with the green supplement, um, some extra fiber. So start to look into what you can incorporate into daily healthy habits through the nutrition line. Then if you feel like you're ready, hop on that cleanse and restore. That is something that you can do as needed. I've recommended it seasonally to people. So with the changing of the seasons, it's good to do. Um, you can do it once a year, twice a year, four times a year. And for me, because I use so many of the supplements regularly, uh, it's really easy for me to do a cleanse and just pop in a 10 day GX assist followed by a 10 day PV assist. And I'm using a lot of those products regularly. Um, but if I want to be really intentional for me personally, my body really enjoys a quarterly cleanse, but you can decide what your body likes best. And then finally, start to swap out some of the toxins that are in our home. So if you haven't gotten rid of your candles yet, get rid of your candles, replace it with your diffusers. They smell so amazing. You guys know this, you're all using doTERRA, or most of you are. So start diffusing more, um, start using the doTERRA, the laundry detergent, get rid of the dryer sheets, start using dryer balls. And then you can get a lot of this stuff for free with your LRP points. That's almost always what I use my LRP points for is that the skincare, hygiene, deodorant, shampoo, conditioner, use your points and you will start to get all those products delivered to your doorstep for free. So I wanted to highlight quickly before I open it up for questions, our promotions for April, we get a free lime with the product of the month. So 125 PV on or before the 15th of the month. This is one you could use just like your lemon oil. You can put it in your water, similar effects. It's uplifting and cleansing. We also have 10% off Neroli, which is great for hormone support. And on our team, it has been called the baby maker. So you've been warned. And then we have two new wellness paths. So if you're new to the wellness paths, the wellness, I call them wellness kits, but they're calling it wellness path is basically a three month wellness box subscription. You can do one month or three months, but each month, if you stay for three months, you have a different package delivered to your door tailored to your wellness goals. So we currently have one for immunity, relief, and mind and mood, and they've just added to this month for sleep and respiratory support. So these kits are extremely good value. They are $75 and 60 PV, and you can sign up for multiple, one at a time. You can do all three months, you can cancel, um, you can choose what works for you. You accumulate your LRP points and all the wellness paths have additional add-on products. So depending on which path you're on, they're gonna have about five products you can add on for a significant discount. So that's how you get below sale, wholesale, you get your LRP points and you get on these wellness paths. And then the final new thing that's available this month is a new enrollment kit. You can add this to your LRP order or sign up brand new with this. It's really good value. I think that this is gonna become one of the highest selling enrollment kits. It's very, very good. It's called the Aromas Essentials and you get the beautiful La Luz Frosted Glass Diffuser. You get 10 essential oils, including peppermint, wild orange, balance, breathe, serenity, cheer, on guard adaptive, and then two that are currently not for purchase, which is Citrus Bloom and Northern Escape. So this kit is really designed for people to gently start to swap out some of those synthetic fragrances. So hey, let's let's swap out your Febreze and your Glade plug-in and start using some of these essential oils that'll make your house smell amazing. They're not going to give anyone a headache when they come over. They're actually going to uplift your family and support your health. So this is really a very easy way to introduce people to doTERRA. And so definitely help people get started with their Aroma Essentials kit, share this information and help people learn more about this. Um, so next month we'll be back on the 6th. Our topic is supporting hormones and breast detox. This is gonna be taught by Dr. Brenda and Shelly Pomeroy. Not only are they incredibly knowledgeable, they're hilarious. So you definitely want to come back and see them on May 6th and learn all about 
your hormones and even a breast detox. So I'm going to stop this recording and I'm going to open this up now for questions. If anyone has any, I will, I will open this up and answer until you're done with your questions.